Okay, we're at we're still in the bee yard. We're going to do another hive. Um, this hive here, as you notice, we've got an entrance reducer on it. So we're going to go ahead and pop the entrance reducer out of the way. Now, I've made this scraper up here that I can actually reach back into the hive with. I'm going to smoke my bees back. Make sure they're back away from the entrance and off of the bottom of the frames. Okay, so I've smoked them back and I'm going to take my scraper and I'm going to go up against the bottom of my frames to make sure I don't have any burr comb. Okay, everything feels pretty clean, but I'm actually hitting a piece about right there. So I'm going to flop it over and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull, pull forward just to make sure that there's nothing on the bottom that's going to cause problems. I don't want to set this on top of a ball of wax and have it catch on fire. So I'm just making sure that the, there's my, there's my uh, beetle trap. So that might have been what I was hitting. But I don't feel anything on the bottom of the hive that could cause problems. So now, I'm going to take my exolic acid vaporizer there again you want to make sure that it runs back in halfway and I just kind of feel as I'm running it back in there that I'm not hitting on anything I don't want to hit on any wax so now we'll just take this we've got our exolic acid we've got our little measuring cup made from a half inch copper cap we're going to scoop up a one scoop of uh, oxalic acid, put it in our tray, and just kind of kind of spread it out a little bit just so that it heats quicker. So they recommend just one cap per hive. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this back end where I'm half about halfway into the hive. I've got my positive terminal already connected to the battery. I'm going to set my timer. Okay, so I've got my timer ready to start. I'm going to hit start and connect my battery cable. Now you can take your rag and go ahead and close up your hive. So now we time out for two minutes. Okay, we're back. We're at about 1 minute 50 seconds. Uh, we've still got our exolic vaporizer. I can see a little bit of the vapor coming out around the handle. We're hitting the 2 minute mark, so I'm going to unhook my battery cable. Now, I, like I say, I can see some of the vapor coming out around this rag here. There comes a little bee out, and it's just pretty much white from it. You can see that right there. So, it's definitely getting on them. So you can tell that it's coating them. It flew off. So we're going to leave this in there until we hit just about the three minute mark. That way it allows the vapor to work up through the hive before we open the entrance. We're starting to get a lot of bees here backed up wanting to get in. Now I can't, I can't express enough that you do not want to breathe this vapor. So we're at three minutes. I'm going to remove the towel. I can see a little bit of vapor coming out of this corner here. See a lot coming out right in here. But I'm going to pull my vaporizer out. As you can see, there's no more oxalic acid. Everything vaporized good. So we've got another successful vaporizing. You can actually open your top if you want. You can. And you should actually see vapor up in here, which I do. So I'm going to close it back up. 
Just whatever you do, do not breathe the vapor. So that's it. That's how we do a beehive.